Alright folks, so we're back again. It's T-Biz here. And yeah, we've got some more Star Wars Power of the Force figures to open up and check out and set free, basically, because I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. Uh, because I'm going to always like toys and uh, until I die. And I'm not dead yet. I'm getting close to that halfway mark of my life. But I'm going to still hold on to these. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll just let it ride. Roll the dice. So i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures to we're going to open up and unbox and check out the you know, the card in the back and all that in the front and all that rigmarole. And at first up, yeah, we're going to have um, to look at good old Admiral Akbar. Here we have him, folks. Good old, and once again, the little prism sticker right there. So we'll be able to archive it on here instead of me having to save much cardboard. Yep. Admiral Akbar with Comlink wrist blasters. So it's basically, yeah, it's a wrist blaster and that fits around. It's like a ergonomically designed to fit on his arm. And uh, yeah, and a blaster. So you can, it's like a cell phone and a blaster at the same time, maybe. Admiral Akbar height, 1.88 meters. Uh, status, Admiral Rebel Alliance Fleet. Let's see, classification, Mom Calamari. Affiliation, Rebel Alliance. Voice of choice, or vehicle of choice, Mon Calamari MC-80. Star Cruiser. I think we've ever seen one of those. I don't know if I have. Probably have maybe in the books or the tabletop games. Once again, we've seen a lot of figures from this line already. He's a Han Solo, Endor Gear, Hoth Rebel Soldier, Tusken Raider, Greedo, and um, yeah, ATST Driver, which I don't have a Chicken Walker anymore. I don't know why I don't. That's kind of annoying, but oh well. <laughs> oh, man, why? Let's see. Figure sold separately with the, yeah. Luke's uh, T-16 Skyhopper. I've still never seen one of those in hand. And you've got the Reboot Electronic Rebel Snowspeeder. And more figures from that wave. And what was this again? Yeah, 1997. So let's go ahead and uh, rip the sky open. And once again, they're already stepping up this line by 1997. Because if you look at them, Admiral Akbar looks pretty cool. The paint's really nice. Got like some different shades of weird like greens in there. Really good detail on the face sculpt. It's cool how his um, Comleek blaster fits on his hand. That's pretty neat. And just a lot of good paint. Everything. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and next up we're going to, I guess, dip into, yeah, another favorite is Mo Mondadon, which is Hammerhead with double barrel blaster rifle. This guy's cool, too, because we already... No, the, the vintage, I think I have a vintage one of this guy, but his, I got from my buddy Chef Dan, but his head's lopped off. But he's not wearing his little blue vest. Let's see, my mind it on. 1.9 meters. Uh, status, he's a scout. Classification, Ithorian. Affiliation, rebel. He's a rebel, dude? I didn't know that. Okay. I don't know why I never read this backing card. Blaster rifle. Let's see, more figures from the line. Yeah, Storm, uh, Sand Trooper. Death Star Gunner, Mulan and on. Let's see, Jedi Knight and Jawas. Much of the same. Again. So yeah, let's go put this guy over. Let's go ahead and do these on the fly now, man. Get this rolling a bit quicker because we got a lot of figures to go through. We really do. We really, really do. If I'm gonna get all, all these organized, it's a lot to go through. But yeah, I love that blast. This thing is huge. It's like almost, it kind of reminds me of the Brave Star gun, maybe. Keep talking about Brave Star a lot lately. But yeah, I think his little vest thing can come off too. So that's cool. Yeah, I always love the Power of the Force, even like these later 1997 ones, just because um, it's, it's a mix of both. It's, you know, vintage characters, but more in an action pose rather than just standing there frigid, which is really, really cool. Next up, we have Malakili, Rancor Keeper, with long-handed vibroblade. I always the vibroblades are kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of the graffiti stick or whatever from uh, Tuscan Raiders. Once again, you got the Prism sticker. Let's see his whole bio. His Rancor Keeper. Let's see, 1.8 meters, Jabba the Hutt's Rancor Handler. Classification Human, loyal to Jabba the Hutt, or affiliation or whatever, weapon of choice. Long handled vibro blade. This wave was a little different. You got Bib Fortuna, Lando in the Skiff Guard disguise, Palpatine, Luke in his uh, trooper gear, and Bosk. Oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And well, I got this from good old local Anna's Toy Depot for $4.95. Pretty much uh, 
almost retail. I got it from her, so that's pretty cool. I bought this figure probably from her, what, a couple of years ago? Because she kept getting a bunch of these in. And she had a lot of them in, actually. Because people go and sell their collections to her and stuff. I've sold stuff to her, too, before. And just, you know, trying to get rid of stuff. Or get money to get more toys or whatever. But it's all good. Actually, I actually have the vintage version of this guy, too. Which I'm going to have to dip into that someday. Oh, wow. And if you look, too, you can see he's got kind of like dirt and sand on him. It might be hard to tell with my lighting. My lighting's not the best. But, yeah. It's kind of weird real loose in the waist i guess kind of gives them a little bit more of an action feature that's weird really good detail on the boots or these little ring things around the sweats there's mc hammer pants really good figure man these are hey, that's why i can't just get rid of these they're actually really good figures really really good next up is uh panda baba or also known as a uh, walrus man i think and um, yeah, with blaster, pistol, and rifle. So he came with two guns. Once again, you got the prism sticker. Let's see, Panda Baba. Height, 1.8 meters. Status, smuggler and pirate. Let's see, classification, Aqualish. Affiliation, none. And weapon, blaster, rifle. So yeah, a bit of the same on the back of this guy. Let's go ahead and rip him open. You can see the bubbles starting to yellow on this guy already. Set this sucker free. Yeah, and the bubble's actually starting to deteriorate too. So, I mean, you can keep these, I guess, if you had them in star cases. But, man, it's part of the force, man. So, it's whatever. They're not, they're not bad, man. They're really not bad. It's funny because you can get them usually on the pretty cheap. These are better than... Anything that was out for Force Awakens, <laughs> Last Jedi, that's for sure. Even though I did buy some of that stuff. Not all of it, but some of it. And yeah, and just kind of got rid of it too. That's awesome. This little jacket's kind of a separate piece, but kind of makes sense just to keep it on because you wouldn't match without it. But this is a cool version. Not identical to the vintage counterpart, but still cool enough. All kinds of good detail, paint, shading, all that stuff. Really good action pose. Just just good figures, man. Always good figures. And we've got a repeat. We all know about um, Sand Trooper. So, yeah. Already know about him, but just in case you missed the other video, there you go again. Height, 1.83 meters. Imperial Shock Troops. Um, classification Human. Affiliation Galactic Empire. Uh, weapon of Choice Imperial Issue Blaster and Heavy Blaster Rifle. So, yeah. There you go again. And these are all Kenner. This is before Hasbro took over, so all good Kenner goodness. And I'm glad I could kind of army build these because sometimes it's easier just to army build these versus um, really expensive figures or expensive like Hasbro figures or to get decent, because it's hard to get decent vintage stormtroopers that are pristine and not like totally yellowed or that have ink on them or something from, you know, or whatever, cause you know, they're old and people have owned those figures. So they've been through a lot of crap. But yeah, these are cool figures, man. You can see the speckled dust on them and all that stuff. Just really, really cool looking. Really good figures. Get them to stand. There we go, cool. And let's see, we're almost done with this video. This is actually a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. It is uh, This guy is really cool, one of my favorite characters. It's a uh, Death Star Gunner. You can see from the movie, and this isn't a prism sticker at all, with uh, Imperial Blaster and Assault Rifle. He's sitting there manning the gun on the good old Death Star in the back, so that's cool, man. Once again, this is, yeah, I believe same year. Now, this is 1996, this one was released, so yeah. Height, 1.8 meters, or 8.3 meters average. Um, status, heavy weapons gunner. Classification, human. Affiliation, Galactic Empire. Weapon of choice, Imperial Blaster. Uh, assault rifle, cool. So these are fun, man. I don't know. I, 
I need to, in the next video or two, just set up a diorama somewhere on the table or move all this stuff out of the way and maybe just set them up in a little scene or something instead of just boringly just throwing them right there in front of you. I need to kind of be a little more creative and do that so it make more sense and be a little bit more worth watching or whatever besides I'm just standing there. But hey, this is kind of an archive too anyways. I'm just archiving this and just... Plus, I got to make room. And taking all these out of the card, like I said in my first video, is basically going to make room for me to store other stuff when I prepare to move. So yeah, good paint. Got some little red lights and blue lights right there. Little buttons. Just a really sleek, nice, detailed figure. Got this crazy rifle. And your standard issue trooper blaster right there so that's pretty cool man this is all ready for a shootout man that's so cool let me get this guy to stand up get him to balance somehow or not oh man maybe yeah it's kind of a pain i need to find my stands but i've just kind of left them out so that's kind of lame oh there you go cool no cheats Last but not least is um, one of my favorites as a kid because I, uh, I had the I still have a vintage one but also had the this is a kid uh, the R five D four always liked them concealed with concealed missile launcher another little prism sticker right there that's cool and uh, let's see R five D four here's Luke all checking him out because he's a piece of crap that uh the defective droid anyways height one meter classification modified astromech droid affiliation Rebel Alliance. So there you go. Oh, and there's the, it shows you actually get to see the instructions for this. Pull droid has a part to reveal launcher, load the projectile into launcher, then press the button. So yeah, we'll figure that out in a minute. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy out. But yeah, I could actually do these a lot quicker. Let me know in the comments if these are worthwhile. I'm gonna do them regardless if people wanna watch them or not or whatever I'm, it's, I'm gonna do it regardless so but if you dig it let me know so yeah always appreciate it yeah his legs are kind of stuck together which is different from the vintage counterpart once again cool little dust speckles and stuff like that there's the trigger that's how he opens up that's pretty cool all the little details inside Here's a missile. That's pretty cool, man. But do you, I guess you gotta open them up, open them up and then he, uh... yeah, there you go. That's cool, man. So you can open them up, I think, and perhaps aim him. Let's try to do that. So you're gonna open them up then like turn them like that yeah okay and then you just blast skies and stuff so that's pretty cool or aliens or whatever you know that's pretty neat man this is a cool little figure that's why when i was thinking about selling some of these i was like look taking a look at them again i was like no i'm gonna keep these guys man they're too cool they're too worthy to not keep and to enjoy them uh you know just to have multiple displays of maybe vintage figures and power of the force and stuff and so on so really really good stuff once again, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go look at, uh, I guess, some comments on my latest uh, Motu video and see what kind of uh, hate that Revelations got or whatever again. But that's not supposed to be about this video. This is all about some Star Wars love right here, some positive Star Wars stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching all and more videos coming up soon. All right, later.